All right, so that footage that you just saw was from our very first waterfowl from field to table, and actually the first duck hunt for myself and Eddie. We had an absolute blast doing that, and now we're getting ready to reap some of the reward from that hunt. We've got a brand new recipe that Chef Wutch just put up on the website for us, and it is a duck Parmesan risotto. Just like any of the hoofed animals that you usually see us do, you've gotta get your prep done first, so we're gonna get some of the silver skin off and get it cleaned up. We're gonna dice it, put it in some buttermilk, let it soak for a couple hours, then we will be back. It'd be a little more delicate, obviously with a duck breast than you do a back strap or something like that on an elk, because there's just not as much there and you wanna get as much yield as possible. And so all I'm doing is just cleaning this up, getting some of the silver skin off, and then we're gonna dice it. We're gonna soak it in some buttermilk, which the acids in the buttermilk actually help pull uh, some of the blood shot out. And actually it looks like what we've got here really doesn't have any, uh, but we're gonna do it anyway, because that's what the recipe says. So we are going to go ahead and soak this in the buttermilk for probably just a couple hours while we are getting all of our other ingredients prepped and then we'll be ready to go. All right, if you didn't see our last video, we just finished doing a mango duck stir fry that turned out amazing. Check it out, it's one from fieldtotable.com. Super fast, easy, and it tasted really, really good. But we're gonna continue our duck theme here from our From Field to Table event we did in January with our friends at Guitar Outdoors on the T-Diamond Ranch. Had an absolute blast hunting duck. We've got another one that is probably as easy, maybe even a little bit easier than the stir fry because everything goes right in here. This is, uh, it's like an advanced crock pot. It's the Ninja cooking system is what this one's called. So I can actually uh, cook my duck in there. I can sear it. I'm gonna pull it back out, spread it out. And then we'll do the risotto, the cheeses and the sauces and the mushrooms and everything is gonna go in there all in one pot. So no mess. And I bet you we'll have it all done here in probably about 20 minutes. All right, so you can see what I did. I only used about half of the duck. Show them down in here, Eddie. See how it's not crowded? And then I can just turn all this over really quick. Cause like I said in the last recipe for that stir fry, you want this rare. And then we will end up adding it back into the risotto, which is obviously gonna be under heat. And so it's gonna cook it just a little bit more. We've really had a lot of fun doing this too with us not being actual duck hunters, not knowing what we were doing. Fortunately, we were with some really good guides uh, hunting with our friends at T-Diamond Ranch Guitar Outdoors, which is where we have our long range schools and also home to fromfieldtotable.com. That's where we do uh, by far the majority of our From Field to Table events. All right, and that's garlic. By the way, all the measurements, all the ingredients will be on uh, fromfieldtotable.com where you can just look this one up. This is shallots I'm adding in. Oops, and a few mushrooms escaped. That's okay. All right, just wanna cook these until those shallots are, are translucent. Push around that oil. Man, that smells so good. All right, cup of, I just quartered these up. Uh, you can use any mushroom you want. I would like to have used, I don't know, maybe some chanterelles or something like that. But like I said earlier, um, we are in this cold snap that's been going on and so grocery stores are not getting deliveries and I just had to take what I could get. So these are just regular sliced mushrooms, which they'll be fine. All right, two tablespoons of butter. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know you were there. <laughs> so I was just getting ready to ask Eddie because this is actually his, uh, his ninja. Uh, so if we go to low on that, is that just more like a simmer? Do you know? I believe so. I think I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So just push the button. Now that we've got the butter pretty much melted. This is uh, the risotto. Um, I forgot what kind of rice that is, but anyway, it's the risotto. 
And what we're gonna do now is just coat all of it in that butter. All right, so all this is coated with butter. Now, here's one of the tricks that Chef talked to me about on the phone. So we've got three cups of, um, of uh, chicken stock. I'll spit it out here in a second. And he said do it in stages. So do one cup at a time and pour it in. And then you have to stand here and stir the entire time until it's all absorbed. And then you'll go for the next batch. You'll do another cup. And then once the second cup is done, guess what? You're gonna do the third cup. I'd say that's absorbed, wouldn't you, Eddie? So, so. Looks absorbed. All right, so let's go for our second cup. All right, third and final cup. All right, so we're getting close. So we, we added the uh, chicken broth in stages. The third one, I probably would have done half and half and maybe even done it in four because it took it a little bit longer for the risotto to, or the rice to absorb uh, all that chicken stock, but it is getting close now. So here's, here's what we're gonna do next. Uh, we're going to add in some softened butter, a couple of tablespoons. We're going to add in some thyme a pinch of truffle salt. First time I've ever bought truffle salt, but I actually found it. And a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, so that finally absorbed that last bit. Actually, I ended up adding some more uh, chicken stock to it. And now I'm adding the duck in. Get that coated well. Oh, I, I turned the heat down on this too. So we did have it on high. I've got it turned down. Add in some butter, softened butter. So now, that, ow, that was hot. <laughs> yeah, that thing's still hot. Imagine that. Right? All right, so we add in butter. And the recipe says a quarter cup of Parmesan. But this is America. More is better. Some Parmesan, I think it calls for a teaspoon or it's a tablespoon of thyme. Just gonna put some in there. That should be good. Like I said, I've never bought truffle salt before. That's what that says. Chef said use just a little bit. Actually, it says a pinch. 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 All right, guys, tell us in the comments, pinch or pinch? What did I say? Pinch. Yeah, a pinch. But you know pinch is right. Yeah. So do the viewers. Yeah, no. All right, this one was super fast and easy. And if it smells as good as it tastes, it's <laughs> and if it smells as good as it tastes, it's gonna be outstanding. You guys do us a favor, please hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments, man. Let us know what you guys think about these, what else you'd like to see, and uh, we'll do our best to do it. We've got access to all kinds of hunts. Let's do this. Get a top with a little bit more Parmesan. Some cracked black pepper. And I guess you're supposed to put something green on top of everything. It's just some parsley flakes. There we go. Come here, Deborah Ray. It smells really good. All right, I'm gonna try the first bite. Hey, look who made an appearance. Again. Miss, Mrs. Ray, yes. Here. <laughs> try a bite. Mm. Oh my God. Does that mean good? Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna be rich. Very rich, but oh man, is that good. Lots and lots and lots of flavor. You guys definitely need to mm. make this one really good. Super easy, look. There's only one pan for Deborah to have to clean up. Oh my God. See, I'm always thinking of you, babe. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Mm. 
You should try it.